Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you a couple things you can do around the house to add humidity to your home. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because this morning I woke up and I was so itchy and I could just tell that the air was so incredibly dry. I would like lift my covers off and it was just the static sound and everywhere I went, everything I touched was just super, super staticky. So there's a few things that I've done in the past that I'm going to implement in our home today because I can't take it anymore. I need some humidity in this house. At the moment, we do have a small humidifier, but it really only works for about half this size of room so like the recommended size for this is literally half the size of our bedroom so I don't even know if it works that well so the easiest and the first thing I'm going to show you is just turn your shower on to really hot and let it run for five minutes this will literally push humidity out like crazy like you'll notice the windows and the mirrors fogging up and things like that um, so it's gonna be a lot but it'll push it kind of through the rooms that are closest to that now if you have multiple bathrooms definitely run all of them and you will just really get a lot of humidity in your place uh, but this is a short-term fix as well as the second thing so the second thing you can do is use a tea kettle and you'll notice that you know when it's ready and the steam comes out just take the lid off um, and take it off the heat and the steam will just kind of go through your room the other thing I do is I boil some water in a pot and then I place the pot in um, an area of the room that I want there to be a little bit more moisture but again the first and second option are gonna be kind of temporary fixes another thing you can do is have plants in your house now I know that this helps a lot and I could not remember what the exact reason was so I looked it up up and this is what it says to moisture evaporates from the leaves and stems of plants adding much needed humidity to the air in your home so I went out um, I actually didn't have any plants and we really desperately needed some so these are some of the plants that I bought um, some of these may work better than others but in general just have some plants in your home um, you know just for great oxygen as well Another thing you can do, um, and I really wanted to demonstrate this, but Matt left the item in our camper, so I can't get it. But if you have one of those drying racks, um, so here's a photo of it, what you can do is after your laundry is done, just put it on the drying racks because not only will your clothes dry a little quicker when it's super dry in your home, but the water from those clothes will put some moisture in your house. So that works really well too. This one might seem kind of silly, but what you can do is fill some bowls up with water and then place them over your vents. So this will not only only just the water in general just sitting there will put some um, you know humidity into the air but then with the vent it kind of like forces it up a little faster now as I was mentioning with just having water in general like bowls or cups or anything like that around your house is gonna help with humidity um, it actually will make it work a little faster if you put it in front of a window so like here I'm putting a vase in front of a window I don't have any flowers currently so it's just gonna be an empty vase at the moment um, but with the Sun it will kind of make that go into the air a little bit faster there is one that you may find online that I want to advise you on that I highly recommend you do not do this. One tip that you may find if you're Googling is it'll say to take the dryer, um, you know, where the dryer like pushes it out and it, usually it's connected to the wall that goes outside. Um, they'll tell you to disconnect that and have it go into your home. This is not a great idea. Now, they do sell some with filters over that, so if you can get one that has a really strong filter to go over the end, this might be okay, but really, you don't want all that crap blowing into your um, house because you're gonna end up breathing all that in. There is tiny, tiny little microscopic like particles from you know your dryer sheets, from your clothes, all all kinds of things, potentially even like pieces from the dryer, um, but there's super tiny little things that will float around in the air and you do not wanna breathe that in. I do not recommend that you use this as an option. So if you see that, I would advise that you stay away from that. But anyways, these are just some tricks and hacks, tips, whatever, um, to put a little bit of moisture back into your home. So I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me comments below so I know you were here. Also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. And I will talk to you later.